in the first question we have to draw a pictograph and a bar graph representing the most popular subject of class 2 so as you can see here the data for class 2 is given to us there are 50 students in maths 35 in english 30 in science and 30 in hindi now let's see how to prepare a bar graph for drawing a bar graph firstly we have to draw two lines one vertical and one horizontal so both the lines are at an angle of 90 degree with each other the joining point of this line is marked as zero now on this vertical line we will mark number of students at an equal interval like if we are taking an interval of 10 students on each unit so we will write here 10 then 20 then 30 40 50 and 60 so as you can see there are 10 students on each unit on one unit we have 10 students now on this vertical line we will draw the bars for the subjects according to the subjects which are given to us so here we have 50 students in maths so we will draw a bar like this whose height will extend till 50 so as you can see here we have drawn this graph this bar up to 50 mark so this is for maths now second for english we have 35 so 35 will come here between 30 and 40 so we will draw a bar till here this mark so next bar will be drawn till 35 as you can see here this is for english then for science we have 30 students so draw another bar till 30 this is for science and similarly for hindi also we have 30 students so next graph will be for third uh, hindi that is again 30 student we will draw this bar so this is for hindi now as you can see all the bars are of same width and we have left the same distance equal distance between two bars so this way we draw a bar graph for representing any data now mention here on this horizontal axis we have written the subjects and on vertical axis we have taken number of students so here we will write number of students now to draw a pictograph for the given data we have to make two columns one for the subject and one for number of students we will represent number of students using a symbol or any picture so let us take this face for five students because you can see that 50 35 30 and 30 all are divisible by 5 so we will make one picture for five students now for maths we have 50 students that means we have to make 10 such symbols so draw 10 symbols 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now for english we have 35 students so if one symbol represent five student that means for 35 we have to draw five such symbols so one two three four five six and seven similarly for science 30 students are there so draw six symbols one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड फॉर हिंदी ऑल्सो थर्टी स्टूडेंट्स आर देर सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड पिक्टोग्राफ in the next question we have to read the graph and answer the following question as you can see here in this graph on vertical axis number of students are given to us and on horizontal axis games are given so this graph is representing various games played by students first question is how many students play football so you can see this graph red one this graph this bar is for football so this bar is up to 30 means it is representing students playing football so this bar tell us that 30 students play football so we will write here 30 students now how many students are athletes so as you can see for athletics we have 12 number 12 so 12 students how many students play cricket see here this bar we have 25 so 25 students then which game is played by most of the students so you can see here the highest bar is for football that is 30 students are there in football so football is played by most of the students in the next question we have expenditure and items and this bar graph is representing monthly expenditure of a family on various item like on rent family is spending 2000 per month on food 4500 clothing 1500 education 1500 and miscellaneous 500 so we have to right how much money is spent on rent so you can see money spent on rent is 2000 so it will be rupees 2000 then how much money is spent on clothing and education so on clothing 1500 and on education also 1500 so clothing and education it will be equals to 1500 plus 1500 that is rupees 3000 then on which item maximum money is spent so as you can see the highest bar is for food 4500 so it will be food then how much money is kept for miscellaneous item so for miscellaneous 500 rupees are there so it will be rupees 500 in the next graph we have number of students on vertical axis and modes of transport on horizontal axis this bar graph is showing number of students using various modes of transport like walking 20 students cycle 10 car bu 15 bus 50 and train 5 so how many students use cycle as you can see from the given graph 10 students are there for cycle so 10 students then how many students go on foot so by walking 20 students are there in walking so it will be 20 students which mode of transport is used by most of the student as you can see here 50 students use bus so mode of transport which is used by most of the student is bus which mode of transport is used by least number of students so least number of student that is five students use train so this is the least used transport 
in the next graph number of students and subjects are given to us this graph tells us that how many students like which subject so here first student first question is how many students like english as you can see the bar for english is up to 20 so it will be 20 students then next is how many students like hindi so for hindi we have bar till 15 so 15 students then how many students like science we have five students in science then which subject is liked by most number of student as you can see the highest bar is for maths 35 students are there so it will be maths then which subject is liked by least number of student so this shortest graph bar is for science therefore answer will be science in the next question a pie graph is given to us pie graph is a circular graph in which we represent different thing in various parts of the circle so here you can see half of the circle is covered with cricket then one fourth part this is the one fourth part of circle in one fourth part of circle football is given and in remaining one fourth part we have tennis and hockey area covered by tennis is more than the area covered by hockey so first question is which game is played by most of the students so as you can see most part of the circle is covered by cricket so answer is cricket then which game is played by more number of student tennis or hockey between tennis and hockey we have to tell that which game is played by more number of student so area covered by tennis in this circle is more than that of hockey so tennis is played by more number of students then in the third question it is given if there are 120 students in the class how many students play football football is played by one fourth of the class one fourth students so if total number of students are 120 so number of students playing football will be one by four of 120 so it will be four ones are four four thirties are 120 so it answer will be 30 students then which game is played by least number of student so it will be hockey last part is there are 120 students in the class what is the difference in the number of students playing cricket and football so as we have got the answer in part 3 that 30 students play football now for cricket number of students playing cricket will be half 120 students are there so half of the students play cricket so we have number of students playing football is 30 and number of students playing cricket it is 1 by 2 of 120 120 total students are there and half of the this graph half of the circle is covered with cricket so half to half number of students play cricket it will be 60 so we have to find out the difference therefore difference will be 60 minus 30 that is 30 students